James Harrison stood at the edge of Earth's primary defense control room, eyes glued to the main screen displaying the formidable Galactic Council fleet. They're here, he murmured, the tension in his voice slicing through the room's anxious silence. World leaders and military strategists crowded around, their faces etched with worry. Admiral Zorak's holographic image materialized, his alien features twisted in contempt. Humans, surrender immediately, Zorak demanded, his voice booming through the room. You cannot hope to stand against our might. James stepped forward, his determination unwavering. Admiral, you underestimate us at your own risk. A heated debate erupted among Earth's leaders. Some argued for surrender, fearing the technological superiority of the fleet. Others, inspired by James's confidence, leaned towards resistance. James proposed a bold plan, leveraging Earth's hidden technological advancements and natural resources. We can use our holographic projectors to create decoys, James explained. It will confuse their sensors and buy us time. The room fell silent as James's plan sank in. There was skepticism and doubt, but James's determination and confidence began to sway opinions. He outlined his strategy, emphasizing the importance of creativity and unconventional tactics. James assembled a team of top scientists, engineers, and military personnel. Among them was Dr. Sarah Mitchell, a brilliant physicist known for her work on cloaking technology, and Captain David Martinez, a seasoned tactician with a sharp mind for battlefield strategy. Together, they began the arduous task of modifying Earth's defense systems. Days turned into nights as the team worked tirelessly. Holographic projectors were set up, creating convincing decoys that would mislead the Galactic Council fleet. James monitored every detail, making real-time adjustments to the defenses. His leadership qualities shone through, inspiring his team to push beyond their limits. The Galactic Council fleet commenced its assault, their ships unleashing a barrage of attacks. Explosions lit up the sky as the decoys took the brunt of the assault. James watched from the control room, his heart pounding. The first wave of attacks hit empty targets, and the fleet's confidence wavered. Phase one is a success, James announced, his voice steady. Prepare for phase two. Despite their initial success, the fleet adapted quickly. They discovered the holographic deception and adjusted their strategy. James, anticipating this, unveiled the next phase of his plan cloaked ambushes and strategically placed mines. The team executed these maneuvers flawlessly, causing significant damage to the fleet. However, the fleet was relentless. They intensified their attacks using more advanced tactics and weaponry. James's team faced numerous challenges, including sabotage attempts and internal disagreements. Tensions ran high as they struggled to stay ahead of the enemy. James called a meeting with his key team members. We need to disable their flagship, he said, his voice filled with resolve. It's our only chance at survival. The plan was risky, but it was their best shot. James, along with a small team, infiltrated the flagship, navigating through tight corridors and evading enemy patrols. The tension was palpable as they planted the EMP device at the core of the ship. As the device activated, the flagship shuddered, and the lights flickered out. Chaos erupted within the fleet as their command structure collapsed. Earth's defenders seized the opportunity, launching a counterattack that forced the fleet into disarray. James and his team returned to Earth, greeted by cheers and applause. Their daring mission had turned the tide of the battle, giving humanity a fighting chance. Admiral Zorak, humbled by the defeat, appeared once more. Humans, Zorak said his tone begrudgingly respectful. You have proven yourselves. We offer a truce. James nodded, his expression resolute. We accept, Admiral. But know this, we will always be ready to defend our home. As the Galactic Council fleet retreated, Earth's leaders began the process of rebuilding. James stood on the deck of the newly rebuilt space station, gazing out at the stars. A message blinked on his communicator, a mysterious signal from an unknown ally. Looks like our next adventure awaits, James said, turning to his team with a determined smile. The story of humanity's resilience and ingenuity had only just begun, 
and James knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together. James Harrison and his team worked tirelessly in the days that followed the Galactic Council fleet's first attack. The success of the initial deception had bought Earth some time, but James knew the fleet would adapt quickly. Dr. Sarah Mitchell and Captain David Martinez were crucial to the next phase of their plan. Sarah's expertise in cloaking technology and David's strategic mind were invaluable. Sarah approached James with a data pad in hand. We've managed to refine the cloaking fields. They should be more effective at masking our movements, she explained. Her eyes were weary, but there was a spark of determination. Good work, Sarah, James replied, glancing at the schematics. We'll need every advantage we can get. The command center buzzed with activity as the team coordinated their efforts. Holographic projectors were repositioned, creating more elaborate decoys. Mines were strategically placed, ready to ambush the unsuspecting enemy. James moved through the room, offering guidance and encouragement. His presence was a steadying force amidst the chaos. As the fleet regrouped, they launched a more sophisticated attack, probing for weaknesses. The sky lit up with energy blasts and explosions, each one a test of Earth's defenses. James watched the display screens, tracking the fleet's movements and making real-time adjustments. We need to stay ahead of them, he muttered, more to himself than anyone else. The pressure was immense, but he thrived under it, his mind racing with possibilities. David joined him, his expression grim. They've adapted faster than we anticipated. We're holding them off, but it's only a matter of time before they find a way through. James nodded. We need to disrupt their command structure. Without clear orders, they'll be more vulnerable. An idea sparked in his mind. We can use the experimental EMP device. If we can get it onto their flagship, we could cripple their operations. David raised an eyebrow. That's a high-risk move. Are you sure it's worth the gamble? It's our best shot, James replied. If we pull it off, we might just turn the tide. The team quickly set the plan in motion. James, Sarah, and a small group of elite operatives prepared for the infiltration mission. They suited up in advanced exosuits designed for stealth and resilience. Each member knew the stakes and the potential cost of failure. They boarded a modified shuttle, its cloaking field active as they approached the fleet's flagship. The tension was palpable as they navigated through the enemy's defenses. Silent and unseen, they landed inside the massive ship. Moving swiftly and silently, the team made their way through the labyrinthine corridors. The flagship was a maze of technology and alien architecture. Every step was calculated, every corner a potential trap. James led the way, his senses heightened, every fiber of his being focused on the mission. They reached the core of the ship, where the EMP device needed to be planted. As they worked, an alarm blared, and enemy forces converged on their location. The ensuing skirmish was intense, but the team fought with precision and determination. Sarah and David held the line, giving James the time he needed. With a final adjustment, James activated the EMP device. A pulse of energy rippled through the ship, and the lights flickered out. The fleet's command structure was thrown into disarray, their systems compromised. Mission accomplished, James said, his voice steady despite the adrenaline coursing through his veins. Let's get out of here. The team made a swift exit, the chaos within the flagship providing the cover they needed. They returned to Earth, greeted by the cheers of their comrades. Their daring mission had bought humanity precious time. As they regrouped, James addressed his team. This victory was hard won, but our work is far from over. The fleet will recover, and we need to be ready for their next move. Sarah nodded, her exhaustion evident but her spirit unbroken. We'll be ready, James, whatever it takes. David clapped James on the shoulder. You did good, James. We all did. James allowed himself a moment of relief. The battle was not yet won, but they had shown their resilience and ingenuity. They had proven that they were not to be underestimated. As night fell, James stood alone on the deck of the space station, looking out at the stars. A message blinked on his communicator, a new signal from the mysterious ally who had first alerted them to the fleet's approach. The message was cryptic, 
hinting at greater challenges ahead. James Harrison stared at the display screens in the command center, tracking the chaotic movements of the Galactic Council fleet. The successful EMP strike on the flagship had thrown their command into disarray, but the fleet was quickly regrouping. James knew they needed to act fast to capitalize on the disruption. Sarah Mitchell joined him, her face illuminated by the glowing monitors. They're recalibrating their systems faster than we anticipated, she said, her voice tense but focused. We need to hit them hard now, James replied. If we can keep them off balance, we might just have a chance. Captain David Martinez, standing nearby, nodded in agreement. I've deployed our remaining mines and set up ambush points. We need to lure them into our traps. The room buzzed with activity as the team coordinated their next moves. Every second counted, and James felt the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. He took a deep breath, steeling himself for the challenges ahead. Prepare all units for immediate action, James ordered. We'll divide our forces and hit them from multiple angles. As the battle intensified, James's team executed their maneuvers with precision. Holographic decoys continued to confound the fleet, drawing their fire away from Earth's true defenses. Meanwhile, cloaked units launched surprise attacks, causing significant damage and sowing confusion among the enemy ranks. James remained in constant communication with his team, adapting their strategies in real time. The fleet's response was fierce, but the humans fought with a level of creativity and determination that their adversaries had not expected. We're seeing results, David reported, his voice crackling over the comms. But their reinforcements are on the way. We need to disrupt their supply lines. James's mind raced as he considered their options. Sarah, can we use the cloaking technology to mask our ships and strike at their supply convoys? Sarah nodded. It'll be risky, but it's possible. We need to move quickly. James issued the orders, and a squadron of cloaked ships set off on their mission. The daring plan paid off as they intercepted the enemy's supplies, cutting off crucial resources and further destabilizing the fleet. Back in the command center, the mood was a mix of cautious optimism and relentless focus. James knew they had gained a temporary advantage, but the battle was far from over. The fleet was adapting, and their resolve remained strong. Suddenly, an alert flashed on the main screen. Incoming transmission from Admiral Zorak, an officer announced. James nodded, signaling to open the channel. Admiral Zorak's image appeared, his expression a mix of anger and begrudging respect. You have proven resourceful, human, Zorak said, but your defiance will only prolong the inevitable. James met Zorak's gaze with unwavering resolve. We will never surrender. As long as we have breath, we will fight for our home. Zorak's eyes narrowed. Then prepare for annihilation. The transmission ended, leaving the room in a tense silence. James turned to his team, his voice firm. We need to be ready for their next assault. This is far from over. As the fleet regrouped, James and his team continued to refine their defenses. They reinforced key positions, set new traps, and prepared for the imminent onslaught. The hours passed in a blur of activity, each moment bringing them closer to the next wave of attacks. The fleet's renewed assault came with a ferocity that tested every aspect of Earth's defenses. Explosions rocked the ground, and the skies were filled with the sounds of battle. James coordinated the defense with a level of precision that kept the enemy at bay, but the sheer scale of the attack was overwhelming. Amidst the chaos, Sarah and David continued to provide invaluable support. Sarah's technological expertise and David's strategic acumen were critical in maintaining their defense. Together, they managed to repel several key attacks, buying precious time for their forces. As the battle raged on, James received a report that sent a chill down his spine. Sir, we've detected a massive energy buildup on one of their ships. It looks like they're preparing a superweapon. James's mind raced. We need to neutralize that threat immediately. All units focus on that ship. We cannot let them fire that weapon. The team rallied, directing their efforts towards the looming threat. The combined firepower of Earth's forces converged on the target, a desperate bid to prevent the superweapon from being unleashed. 
the air crackled with energy as lasers and missiles streaked towards the enemy ship. In a dramatic crescendo, the superweapon's energy core was hit, triggering a massive explosion that lit up the sky. The enemy ship was obliterated, and the remaining fleet was thrown into disarray. James allowed himself a brief moment of relief. They had averted disaster, but the battle was still ongoing. Good work, everyone. Stay focused. We can win this. As the chapter drew to a close, the fleet's remaining forces began to retreat, their confidence shaken. James watched the screens, knowing that they had achieved a significant victory but also aware that the war was not yet won. He turned to his team, a sense of determination in his eyes. We need to keep the pressure on. This is our chance to drive them out for good. James Harrison stood amidst the controlled commotion of the command center, aware that this next phase would determine Earth's future. The successful interception of the enemy's supply lines had given them a brief reprieve, but Admiral Zorak's forces were regrouping for a final, all-out assault. Sarah Mitchell approached, her voice calm but urgent. We've detected a massive energy buildup on several of their ships. It looks like they're preparing for a coordinated strike. James's eyes narrowed. They're planning something big. We need to disrupt their attack before it even begins. Captain David Martinez, ever the strategist, joined the conversation. We can launch a preemptive strike on their energy hubs. If we take them out, it could cripple their ability to launch this offensive. James nodded, considering the plan. It's risky, but it might be our best shot. Sarah, how quickly can we have our fleet ready? Sarah glanced at her data pad. We can mobilize within the hour. I'll coordinate with the engineers and ensure everything is in place. The team moved with a sense of purpose. Each member knew their role and executed it with precision. The countdown to mobilization felt like both an eternity and a heartbeat. As the fleet prepared, James briefed his team, emphasizing the importance of their mission. Our goal is to disrupt their energy hubs. Without power, they can't launch their strike. We need to hit them fast and hard, James instructed, his tone leaving no room for doubt. The fleet launched into the void of space, their ships moving in unison toward the enemy's energy hubs. As they approached, resistance intensified. Enemy ships swarmed, trying to protect their critical infrastructure. The battle that ensued was fierce, each maneuver calculated to outsmart the other. James piloted his ship with deft skill, weaving through enemy fire. Focus all firepower on the central hub, he ordered. If we can take it out, the rest will follow. Sarah, monitoring from her station, provided real-time updates. We've got a clear shot at the main reactor. Sending coordinates now. David's tactical brilliance shone as he directed the fleet's movements, ensuring they maintained the upper hand. The combined efforts of the team brought them closer to their target, but the enemy's defenses were formidable. Just a little more, James muttered, his fingers dancing over the controls. A direct hit on the central hub sent a shockwave through the enemy fleet. The other hubs began to overload and explode in a chain reaction. Back on Earth, the command center erupted in cheers as the news came through. James's plan had worked, and the enemy's ability to launch their offensive was severely compromised. However, the battle was far from over. Admiral Zorak's face appeared on the main screen, his expression a mixture of fury and grudging respect. You continue to surprise me, human, but this is not over. We will return, and you will face our full might. James met his gaze with a calm resolve. We're ready for you, Admiral. This is our home, and we will defend it. With the immediate threat neutralized, James and his team regrouped to assess the situation. The victory had come at a cost, and there was still much to do. They began the arduous task of repairing their defenses and preparing for the possibility of another attack. Sarah approached James, her expression thoughtful. We've bought ourselves some time, but we need a long-term strategy. The Galactic Council won't give up easily. James nodded. Agreed. We need to strengthen our alliances and continue developing our technology. We've proven we can stand up to them, but we need to ensure we can keep it up. The following days were a blur of activity. Earth's leaders worked tirelessly to fortify their defenses and forge new alliances. 
James and his team were at the forefront, leading the charge and inspiring others with their dedication and ingenuity. One evening, as James reviewed plans for the next phase of their defense strategy, he received an encrypted message. It was from the mysterious ally who had first alerted them to the fleet's approach. The message was simple but profound. Help is on the way. James shared the news with his team, a sense of cautious optimism filling the room. They had endured much, but they were not alone. The promise of reinforcements brought a renewed sense of hope. As they prepared for whatever came next, James stood with Sarah and David, looking out at the stars. We've come a long way, he said quietly, but this is just the beginning. We'll face whatever comes next together. They looked toward a future they were ready to shape with their own hands.